my channel my name is Brittany bundles and today's video is a vlog video so I'm getting a few bags out of my I actually did a um, review video on this little um, storage thing but I'm using it while I'm traveling um, so that I can quickly get things that I need out package my orders um, got some sample here in here as well my bundles are actually inside the house but Backup if not, I can just use these if I can't find them. But Being situated so that we can to the post office.
I am picking the vlog back up. It's actually um, the same day, but it's the evening now or nighttime. Um, I am a little tired. Like I have been really, really tired. I haven't like been home in a long time. So I have just, you know how it feels like when you're traveling or when you're visiting family and friends and you just want to be home and rest. Well, that's kind of how I feel like I just want to rest and I've been um, really enjoying my family time. But like I said, I'm I'm just like, I'm, I'm wanting to rest. Um, so with that being said, I think I'm going to try and get in the bed a little earlier today to get some more rest. Um, I do have to complete a project, so I do need to work when I get back home. Not only that, but I also need to look into Final Cut Pro because I was on a trial and I believe the trial ends like today or tomorrow. So I really wanna make sure that um, Final Cut Pro is a application that I, I wanna use and that I am going to use before I decide to pay for it. Because like I said, it's on a um, trial. Currently I'm at Taco Bell. The kids wanted that again for dinner. Thank you. Thank you. Um, so I was saying I have some work to do. Okay, all the final cup bro, that's where I was at. Um you too, thank you. So what I'm gonna do, because I what I planned on doing was doing like a lot of playing around in Final Cut Pro and doing more research and seeing if I really was going to use it because I want my videos to be of better quality. Like I want to be able to edit them a lot better. And if you've been noticing my vlogs, like I've been trying to edit them a lot better um, than I did previously, but I'm still recording and editing from my iPhone, which there's nothing wrong with, but I do want to explore other options as far as recording with an actual camera and then uploading my videos and um, editing them on Final Cut Pro. But when you go into Final Cut Pro, like it, I'm not saying you, but I, I'll just refer this back to me. Like when I go into Final Cut Pro, it is very confusing for me, which is expected because it's, you know, I, I've never really used it, but it's, it's kind of intimidating in a sense, you know? So I did watch some videos on Final Cut Pro, but I'm thinking that if I if I don't feel comfortable with it tonight, I'll probably cancel it and then sign up for like a Final Cut Pro class and see if, you know, going to the class gives me more insight on it. Hopefully it does. And if I decide to actually move forward with paying for Final Cut Pro, I think it's $100 a month or $300 a month. I can't really remember, but I remember it's in that price point. Um, so I'm gonna be taking a look at that as well when I get in. And, um, other than that, like finishing my project, taking a look at Final Cut Pro, um, that'll be it for tonight. I also need to edit this video. Um, but that, like I said, that'll probably be it. Um, I do want to kind of recap today. So today I did mail out some orders. Um, I mailed out just a few orders for that were, that were placed through Bad Chick Hair, my hair business. And then I um, shipped out some drop shipping orders as well that were placed through um, my drop shipping clients, customers. Um, or placed by my drop shipping clients customers so um, going to the UPS store that's working okay you know but I am probably I don't want to buy a new printer here because I'm going to be going back down south in a little bit um, so I don't want to like buy a new printer here I wish that I would have taken my printer with me so that I could have worked more efficiently but um, that that isn't um that isn't, you know, that's, that's not an option right now. I decided not to, to bring it. I just, I didn't think about it, I guess. Um, so that's that. And I also am going to start talking more about sales. Now, I know I talk a lot about sales, but it's needed. Um, I was actually listening to like a sales um, video or training video today. And the way that some, I mean, everyone has a different technique of selling, but the idea that you should just sell whatever you're offering to just anybody um, and everyone should just have the same type of offer is just it's not productive in my opinion um, it's not about in my, like I said before and I'm going to go into detail some other videos or either be like a, um, I lost it for a minute or it either be like a, a um, like a e 
book that I do. But the goal isn't just to say I sold a product. The goal isn't just to get someone to buy. But it's to actually, like I say before, you know, in other videos, build that relationship so that people feel comfortable coming back. And so they don't feel like they were just sold something. People aren't stupid. People aren't, you know, dumb for, for the most part. Um, and a lot, of, a lot of people, I feel like, in sales think that, you know, and it's like people know how it feels to be treated with respect. People know how it feels to just get offered something and feel like they were just sold something just for the heck of, of the salesman meeting their quota or just for selling something. Um, but people also realize when they were um, valued and the, the representative or the entrepreneur or whoever they were working with took the time to learn more about what specifically they were looking to get from that interaction and base their offer based on what could benefit that customer. Not everyone has that mindset. And like I said, not everyone is going to um, sustain in business. Not everyone is going to. And um, it's very important that we get the fundamentals down. Like I said, there are a lot of people, this day and age, we just want to rush everything. And I'm, I'm, I'm no different. You know, I'm not guilty, of, or I am guilty of rushing. Excuse me, I'm guilty of rushing things. Um, you know, if you follow my salon journey, I wouldn't say that I rushed, but I wouldn't say that I took my time either. I kind of, you know, I had an idea. I wanted to do it. You know, I, I was blessed to have the funds to do it, and I decided to do it. Um, do I regret it? No. I mean, it taught me a lot, a lot, a lot. But I'm just saying that that's the, the day and age that we're living in. Like, no one wants to wait. We're wanting things right now. Which is okay, you know? But I'm just saying that sometimes having that approach, we overlook different options and opportunities. Now, again, I'm not saying, and I'm saying again because I've said this in some other videos, I'm not saying or suggesting that we should be lax, that we should just, you know, procrastinate and wait, wait, wait. I'm not saying that either because there are people that, you know, their businesses have suffered because they have just waited, 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 waited um, for things that they actually should have, you know, not waited on like that. They should have actually taken advantage of the time and did it. Um, but it's all about finding a balance, a unique balance based on what you're looking to do. And like I said, I saw a training clip and it was just like pretty much just sell whatever you offer to everybody and you know eventually somebody's going to say yes and that's true I mean I agree with that eventually somebody probably would say yes but it's it's not just about getting them to say yes like I said the clients that I have I take very seriously I'm not working on just getting new customers and just getting new customers but I'm working on getting new customers and retaining the customers that I have and converting them into repeat clients that's what I'm doing and so even when I'm not promoting my best even when my marketing doesn't do the numbers that I anticipated doing, I still have loyal customers or loyal clients that are shopping with me because of the experience that they had. Your product and service, that's that's one part of the, the interaction. But like I said, how that customer, how that client felt, that's the other part. And I, that's what a lot of people are overlooking. So I'm going to be diving deeper into that because like I said, I just saw a video that um, just reminded me that we really need more assistance in those areas. So I'm gonna, um, I'm actually back at my mom's house. I got the food for the boys. I'm gonna go in and, um, you know, get them settled for bed. And then I may close out the vlog. I don't know when I'll close out. I'll probably, I'm gonna play around with Final Cut Pro and I think that's about it. So I'll probably go ahead and wrap up the vlog here or I'll pick you all back up once I get to my mom's house. But if I don't see you all, again in this vlog i do want to thank you all for watching and i will see you all in the next vlog but i'm kind of thinking that i'll continue to record so stick around and see what ends up happening um yeah i'll go ahead and, and end the clip here